whatever the world throws at you, take it on. This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Be unstoppable. The all-new 2015 Ford Edge. Here it is, second down, Craig in the gun, hands it off, Joseph Sadler, across the goal line and into the end zone. I believe that is the first career rushing touchdown for Joseph Sadler. It's a two-yard touchdown run. They'll fake to Sadler out of the gun, Craig will throw, into the end zone, what a catch Bubba Tandy! My goodness, he tipped it in the air, and they're having a party in the end zone. Bubba Tandy is back, ladies and gentlemen. Craig in the gun, four wide receiver set, blitz is put on, Craig on his feet at the 10, throws it at the last minute, into the back of the end zone, that is Nardy Myers with a Tarleton Texan touchdown. Fourth and short to give to Sadler, room to run 30, Sadler 25, 20, 15, Sadler 10, 5, takes it to the house, Joseph Sadler on fourth down and one, 32 yards for a Tarleton Texan touchdown. Here's Craig in the gun, four wide receiver set. Takes the snap, time to throw, plants his feet, throws it at the goal line. Nardi Myers is into the end zone. It's a Tarleton Texan touchdown. Nardi gets on his knees, looks to the sky, and says thank you. Finally, he's chased out of the pocket by Colby Johnson, and the pass is deflected, intercepted, Tarleton State. A pass deflection, Chase Farnado with the interception for Tarleton. It is Tyreek Murray. That's how you want to start the second half. Four seconds left in the game. Kingsville has no timeouts remaining. It's an offset eye formation with Vasquez. And they fumble the ball, and Tarleton is going to win it. Tarleton wins their first one of the game, and they're running out on the field. This game had everything. Miles Carr fumbled it, and Tarleton wins. And you can't call him winless anymore. Um, you know, I, I had Elliot Hart behind me in my ear, uh, and he was, he was telling me, he said, don't worry, we're going to get it. We're going to get it, and we had, uh, we had the defensive line blitzing inside, and we had the linebackers coming off the edge, and, you know, we just got penetration. Quarterback actually fumbled the ball a little bit and got it on the ground, and when that happened, I mean, it was it was like a frenzy. Everybody, we had all 11 hats to the ball, and it just worked out in our favor. Yeah. Uh, you know, everything I do, I do it for my team because we work hard in practice just to get where we are. Even win or lose, we still going to compete. So, I, I mean, we, it's, everything is just like practice, so... I cheat everything like practice, make the plays, and go from there. I think, I think it came down to a competitive edge. You know, we kind of, instead of um, trying to play as individuals, you know, we got together and kind of kind of pushed each other to our limits. And, uh, you know, a defensive line talking trash to the linebackers and so forth. And, you know, that, that just leads to us eventually bonding together and just making plays. And I think, I think tonight defensively was the confidence we needed. Well, I told most of my brothers that I was going to play with them no matter what. I'm going to finish this season out with my brothers. I started with them, so I'm trying to finish with them. If you see how hard we work, you should think we should win every game. And that, with us losing four, or starting 4-0, that still didn't stop our drive. That pushed us harder. And so now I feel like we got the momentum, and it's going to keep going and going because we don't give up. We like hard work. Hard work is even better, and we push each other to be better every day. It meant a lot to us, you know, and, and, and I think – you know, it would look back at the tape and there could have been different things, but it, it needed to end like that is what my kids needed. They needed to believe. They kept getting, they kept believing all night. No matter what happened to them, they kept coming back. You know, injuries mounted up us on the sideline tonight again. You know, we lose Zach, we yeah. Dakota for a while, Cody Burcher for a while, we lose Keenan Blair for a while, and Malcolm. You know, it just he kept mounting up, but they just next guy just kept coming in and coming in and fighting and from the win just to see the the energy and the passion in that locker room. You know, it was an emotional moment. You know, I couldn't have been prouder of them, and you know, and I, but I wasn't not proud of them last week because they played hard to the very end. That's why I stayed in the locker room for so. But they needed this win. You know. They needed uh, more than me, you know. They, they, they needed because, you know, they, they they starting to believe and they understand. They, they got an opportunity and for it to end the way that it did. It'll give them a great, uh, give us a great momentum going into the stretch of the season. Coach, I've uh, you've obviously been around a lot more football games than I have, but I haven't seen a game like this before. I mean, you talk about four <laughs> interceptions thrown, the lights went off. Have you ever, first off, have you ever seen a game where the second, the first half ended after halftime? Never. I've never seen that. <laughs> you know, never have I seen that. But, you know, it was. I've been down here crazy. You know, I was down here as a defensive coordinator when Lynn home kicked the foot. We went 94 yards. Yeah. You know, we were backed up. I ran into the huddle and I told him, Scott Grantham let us 94 yards for a touchdown to go ahead. And then defense had to come back out and stop him. And then, you know, and, uh, and Lynn home kicked the field goal. In 2011, we blocked the field goal. And in the last minutes of the game, the last seconds, we scored. So, you know, I've been down here for some crazy games. Luckily, they've all been on our end. 
And, Coach, I uh, want to ask you about Joseph Sadler because, obviously, Jabari Anderson uh, gets banged up. You don't have Zach Henshaw, his arms in a sling. Sadler comes out of nowhere. He's got 132 yards, the first Tarleton running back to have over 100 yards other than Jack Hensall since 2013. How big was Sadler? It was big. And, you know, Casey, it was an unbelievable moment. Um, Thursday, uh, Wednesday night I was with him. And um, oh, and then uh, th- Friday, Thursday morning he left. His, pop, his, his grandfather raised him and his grandfather died. And, uh, you know, he took off and went home Thursday morning. And then, um, you know, his, his the guy that's mentoring his life was my college roommate, Paul Gomez. And he called me today and I said, I'll have your equipment with me if you want to play. He called me, he called me this afternoon, and his family drove him down from Divine, Texas, and getting ready for the funeral. He'll go back and bury his grandfather who raised him, and, and his mother is, is very, very ill with cancer and everything that kid's been through. Uh, it's a joy, you know. I, it just, it, it, he came out and he played for his grandfather tonight, and, and, that, and that was an, an unbelievable moment for, uh, for our team to see it. We all knew he was hurting, and he was waiting on us when we got here today. An unbelievable story, and I have to ask you, Kingsville gets the ball back with about a minute left. They get down here, coach, to the to the two-yard line where they line up, last play of the game, they get into the end zone, they win, run us through that. Uh, you know, it, it, they, they, I let them use their timeouts, you know. Um, you know, there was a, we had an opportunity to turn several plays, and, you know, we kind of got on our heels a little bit, and uh, – and, and then when it got down here, we just kind of went to a move front, and I had it. We had we had a B gap defensive tackle and an A gap, and and I said when they get right under center, and he gets there to make his calls, just make a move move call. And we moved ahead of alignments on the guard, and when we did, the, the center flinched and turned the ball, um, and then they teed off on him right when he flinched, and the ball fl- uh, you know came out, and uh, you know it's one of those deals that you practice, you know, and we're going to move it and try to tee off on the guards and get that center to flinch, and we and coming back back on him and. And, uh, you know, luckily the, the snap didn't happen. We practiced it to happen that way. It didn't happen a, long, a, a lot of times for that to come out like that. It can only give us more momentum and more drive to be better and uh, push harder in practice because we, we beat ourselves a lot, and if we can eliminate those things, then the sky's the limit for our team. How much better is a seven-hour bus ride after a win versus a loss? Uh, well, <laughs> I guess it can go either way because really now we just, we know we won, but it's going to be uncomfortable because we all sore and wore out now. <laughs> Because we gave it our all, we know we did, man. And I love my team. I wouldn't change nothing about it. That's our players of the game, the Tech Star, Kubota New Holland post-game interview, Chase Varnado, Bubba Meyer, or Bubba Tandy, Nardi Myers. Back to you guys.